But my point is like truly giving you an identity data lake where you have access to flexibility around how you do ETL, whether you want, you want to do Python scripting, you want to do um, Lambda, whatever you want, but you've got the processing capability to take this data and make the decisions you want and then create a standardized view of what that identity data looks like so you can feed it to your IDP, your IAM, your ITDR, your ISPM, your you know, I, star, 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 whatever you want it to feed it to. But what this allows you to do is it allows your identity team to focus on doing identity things, right? And starting to be able to automate and do the things you wanna do around you know, certifications or just in time or those things. But now, right, and this is something that, that Ian Glazer has really been talking about is, now I can take this data and let's give it to data analytics team, right? I wanna start playing with different AI models and seeing things that I can get or different analytics tools. I can drop that on top of the identity data, right? And I can drop it on top of the raw data instead of the refined data, right? Or either or, but my point is, wherever I point this to, it's not tied into my identity my identity systems, right? Those tools that really don't have and haven't been built to be able to process and use access to that data. 